Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to show you a design I did for part cooling on my CR10. I made a modification to my Mosquito Bontec gear mount for the CR10 and I changed the part cooling design and also the hot end cooling. So I want to show you that in this video. So let's have a look after the intro. So the other day I, I made a mount for mounting the Mosquito hotend with a Pontec gear extruder in a direct drive configuration on my CR10. And this pretty much is the, is the mount. Uh, it has a few changes from the original design and pretty much uh, what I did uh, in the original design. The fan on the Mosquito hotend was facing this direction here. And I made this uh, a little bit smaller so I could rotate the hot end and have the fan from this direction. And then I could use this adapter I designed to place on the mosquito hot end and have a 40 by 40 millimeter fan on the hot end cooling. I found the mosquito included fan, it's a 25 by 25 found it to be a little bit too noisy for my environment here in the living room and um, since this fan is always on I wanted to find a better solution so I ended up using an Octua fan for the hot end cooling and um, this part was designed for that purpose to adapt the 25 by 25 to a 40 by 40 uh, so this is the main mount and um, I did a video on the design of, of this mount and this goes here with the van but uh, then I also did a redesign of the part cooling I was not really happy with the part cooling uh, performance on my first design so I did a version 2 and um, in that path of creating a, a new uh, part cooling I did a lot of tests and, and experimented a lot and I want to show you the, the designs I, I came up with and, and what I ended up with so here on the table is a pretty much a graveyard of, of test prints and, and designs. Um, here in the front I was trying to use a 40 by 40 by 20 millimeter Noctua fan. And I made several designs with uh, different types of openings and from one side and, and both sides and smaller holes and uh, larger holes. Um, design with a fan in this orientation and also with fan in this, this orientation. So here's a lot of test prints. This was the original uh, design I was not really happy with from the previous design. Um, this was not working too well and the, the placement of the air flow was not in a good position. So I started designing those and I finally gave up using um, a 40 by 40 millimeter Noctua fan for this purpose and changed over to a blower style fan like you will find on most printers for part cooling. Um, then I, I did this design and here is the part cooling fan mounted and this one blows directly underneath the nozzle. Um, this was the first design I did for using the blower style fan and this was working quite well. I also did this design with a like a circular opening and so the opening here is underneath in a circular or semicircular fashion. It's like 45 degrees that are cut off from each direction here. So one one sector is, is cut off. Uh, this was also working uh, pretty good. Um, <coughs> and here I have few interactions of, of that design basically the, the difference is uh, the position of the of the part where to probably position here as you can see the, it melted a little bit <laughs> and also here it didn't fit so i had to move the, the opening a little bit more and those were just prototypes in that process but uh, this was the final design with a semicircular uh, design. I then did an experiment with a, like a fang type uh, 
uh, opening. So instead of having the whole circle open, I just have the openings here at, at the end. And those are two uh, rather big openings. And the placement of those, uh, with this design, the main airflow didn't hit the spot exactly. So I moved over to this design and it has some shorter fangs and those two smaller holes are directing air directly underneath the, the nozzle. So this one was giving me the best results out of those designs I did. And I was uh, not having a... Uh, there's not a huge difference in the performance of, of this one versus this one. This uh, um, makes a lot more pressure because of the small openings and the airflow is more directed and here with this one is, is a little bit m bigger opening and a simpler way for the air to go through so uh, this one has more volume of air going through but this has more directed air and uh, at the moment I am printing this one uh, several items and getting pretty good results but on my overhang tests this one was giving me a little bit better results than the other one um, as you can see over here those are different overhang tests and I was uh, the problem I was battling with as you can see here is a there's a small issue in the print and I was printing a little bit uh, hotter than normal just to have a more visible defect on the print <laughs> so to speak by using a little bit hotter print so uh, I, I don't have this uh, problem so much if I print at a correct temperature so I, I was making myself uh, my life a little bit harder <laughs> by printing too, too hot and here are more prints and those are bridging tests and, and a graveyard of, of benches I printed and some stringing tests and, and so there was a lot of lot of prints. Um, here are even prototypes for the mount for the mosquito what I was doing uh, with this mounted on the mosquito head, head and this was clamping inside of the Pontec extruder. I was uh, printing uh, smaller spacers to be here on top because this was a, a space in the Pontec extruder that could give some slack if I would try to print with a flexible filament and I still have to try that but I was printing very small spacers also underneath here a very small spacer um, so there is a there's a lot of uh, test prints in this process and it took quite some time to to get all those prints done and as you can see and, uh, and as you can see there's a lot of stuff on my table and i'm happy to do this video and get a conclusion i will provide all the four different designs on the thingiverse page i'm, I'm linking to i, I put, already put some of them already but i will put all four on the Thingiverse page so people can try different types out and, and uh, find their own conclusion on, on what design is the best but I, I'm quite happy with the, with the funk type and the direct one um, the direct one is uh, far the simplest design of them all it's quite difficult to model for airflow in a, in a software packets that don't have airflow simulation and even I think if it had airflow simulation I'm not sure if I I would have the knowledge to set it up correctly. <laughs> I'm not an engineer, but uh, it was good fun to design those parts and, and create those. I'll be happy to hear your comments and thoughts on the design. And already I got some comments on the Creality Facebook group where I posted the design and people were wanting this mount. Uh, the reason I started with the design for the Mosquito Hot End and Pontec Extruder in a direct drive installation was pretty much because there was none available and I couldn't at least find any design that were working with that combination for this printer and so I decided to start designing and, and it was quite a project in Fusion 360 and the, and the design video I did in my last video on the subject is, is quite long explaining the whole design and, and process and I won't go into Fusion 360 for, for all those different files I'll show you close-ups <laughs> of those 
But this will be it for this video. I hope you like this design and, and let me know in your comments and, and give your thumbs up and down and subscribe and all that. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.